Regent is a Swedish manufacturer that is focused on fusing the latest e-bike technology with legacy motorcycle designs. Each model is treated as a work of art. All bikes are handcrafted in Sweden and need from 8 to 10 weeks to be put together. At the moment, their lineup consists of two bikes, number one Classic and number one Scrambler. Both Scrambler and Classic models are equipped with an 11 kilowatt rear hub motor and a 7.7 kilowatt hour battery pack. This powertrain setup can guarantee up to 75 miles of riding in the mixed cycle. Besides having good riding autonomy and 77 mile per hour top speed capabilities, these motorbikes have a great technological package. They support fast charging, letting you restore 80% of the range in about four hours. They also have a seven inch LCD touch display, cloud connectivity, as well as a GPS system. If you're looking for improved performance and range parameters, Regent Motorcycles have recently started offering the SE package for their bikes. With the SE treatment, you get a motorcycle with 21 kilowatts of peak motor output, 287 pound-feet of torque, a 9.5 kilowatt-hour battery pack, and up to 92 miles of range autonomy. The design of Regent Motorcycles is spectacular, but if you would like to make it meaner or adapt it to your needs, then you should definitely check out the offer by the German customization shop called Crooked Motorcycles. They've developed their own styling pack called the E-Type. If you reach out to them, they'll let you customize your Regent bike by adding different design options for the seat, fuel tank, etc. Several years ago, Savage Motorcycles, a promising Australian e-mobility startup, unveiled a pre-production prototype of a beautiful retro-inspired cafe racer bike. This project attracted the interest of the e-bike community and the investors who helped the company raise the required funding to develop an ambitious product roadmap. The mass production of the C-Series electric motorcycle is the endpoint of the roadmap. The C-Series bike will be offered in two power modifications, Alpha and Delta with Alpha being the more powerful of the two. Depending on the chosen model, you will receive either a 40 or 60 kilowatt electric liquid-cooled motor. The Delta's 40 kilowatt motor will generate 103 pound-feet of torque and let you sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds. The torque parameter for the Alpha's 60 kilowatt motor unit raises to 147 pound-feet, while the acceleration time is slashed to just 3.5 seconds. Alpha's powertrain will feature a 16.7 kilowatt hour battery pack, good for 125 miles of riding. For the Delta, you're getting a slightly smaller 14.2 kilowatt hour pack that offers an estimated range autonomy of 93 miles. Both models offer a fully adjustable Wilbur's telescopic fork, YSS rear shock, Brembo M4 brakes, ABS, traction control, regenerative braking, and a 7-inch digital display for reading the important technical indicators. If you are regularly following our EV news roundups, then you should be familiar with the Atelier Heritage bike. We've recently covered their stunning retro-style electric bicycle with a sidecar, and today we'd like to briefly overview the newest EV by this French manufacturer. This time, it's an electric scrambler bike influenced by the motorcycle heritage of the past century. The two-wheeler is based on a black tubular frame and has a round vintage headlight, a large faux fuel tank, an elongated bench seat, and a set of knobby tires. In terms of performance, the Heritage Spirit Scrambler offers specifications similar to the 125cc class. The available 7 kilowatt rear hub motor can generate 206 pound-feet of torque and grants you 80 mile per hour top speed capabilities. The motor is paired to a 48 volt battery pack with 5.5 kilowatt hours of capacity. One full charge will reportedly give you up to 60 miles of continuous riding. In order to qualify for the Scrambler class, this 189-pound bike was equipped with full EMC suspension that offers 120 millimeters of travel in the front and 80 millimeters in the rear. 
17-inch wheels with Michelin Anarchy Wild tires, and standard Brembo four-piston front brakes at the front and one-piston rear brakes. This year, as part of Can-Am's 50th anniversary celebration, Bombardier Recreational Products BRP, issued an announcement confirming that in 2024, Can-Am will start mass-producing battery electric vehicles. The manufacturer held a short press conference where it showcased two upcoming models. These models received the Can-Am Origin and Can-Am Pulse nameplates. The Can-Am Origin is developed as a tribute to the brand's heritage in motocross racing. It's a dual-sport model that is said to offer a modern, multi-terrain riding experience and bring electrified excitement to both the streets and the trails. The Can-Am Pulse is an electric city bike that is destined to turn your daily commutes into near-silent, zero-emission experiences. Both models got futuristic design elements and seem to share a unique visual signature, a characteristic high-performance LED headlamp. Despite having their own distinct designs, ergonomics, and belonging to different bike classes, both two-wheelers will be powered by a newly developed Rotax ePower technology. The brand is planning to start selling their newcomers by the end of 2024. However, further information about the powertrain specifications, suspension components, and MSRP prices are yet to be revealed. Frustrated by the fact that most electric mopeds were simply uninspiring copies of their gas siblings, the trio of founders of the New Zealand-based FTN Motion Company decided to create the proper product. Their creation is called the Street Dog, a no-nonsense, lightweight e-bike for urban commuting. It's built on a steel frame, weighs just 180 pounds, and only requires a moped-level license to be operated. In terms of looks, this e-motorcycle features a minimalistic cafe racer look with a long seat, low-position handlebars, and of course, a distinctive single headlamp. A lid of the faux tank flips up, giving you easy access to the 30-liter compartment integrated into the frame. Street Dog's powertrain consists of a 3-kilowatt rear hub motor and a removable 2.9-kilowatt-hour battery pack, sufficient for 62 miles of range. Considering the bike's moped-level classification, its top speed was limited to just 30 miles per hour. Other noteworthy features of the Street Dog include regen braking, NFC key tag and pin code activation, remote alarm, and wheel lock. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new overviews in the comment section below. Thanks once again and till next time.